Hello everybody and welcome back on my channel. My name is Alex and today we'll make this easy exercise for beginners. And we'll be following this drawing. We have here all the dimensions we need. First we start with this view. We'll make this uh, sketch but without this rib. We can see it here. Because all of these other parts have the same thickness which is 40 millimeters. Only the rib it's 10. So let's start. We we'll start with two circles for this part, two circles for this part, and then we'll make these two lines here, and then this part here. Then we'll use trim entities command to cut the extra parts of the circles, and then at the end we'll make the rib. Okay, let's open a new part. Uh, just a second, this is how the part is gonna look at the end and we we'll have to make this hole also. So let's open a new part and let's make here plain white. Now we'll open a sketch in the front plane and as I said we'll start with two circles just like this. And now let's define these two for now and then we'll make the other two later. So select smart dimension. On the drawing we have the radius, but we're gonna use the diameter. So the diameter is the radius multiplied by 2. So the radius is 50, the diameter will be 100. And here will be 64. Okay, and now we'll make the other two, just like this, then select these two center points and select here make horizontal. And now with smart dimension we have to define these two also. Here the diameter will be 25 and here will be 50. Nice. and the dimension between them, between these two center points, will be 100. Nice, and now we have all the circles we need. Now we have to make these two lines here. So select line, we make one like this, and then another one like this. And now we we'll select this point, this circle, select here coincide, this point, this circle, and select here coincide. Now select these two lines and make them equal. Perfect. And now with smart dimension, let's define them. The dimension between them will be 10 millimeters. And now here, these are the parts from the circles we need to trim at the end. So the whole sketch will uh, become one, uh, one open contour inside. Now we have one contour here and one here and this one okay now we have to make this part right here so select line and actually first let's make a center line we'll make a center line like this it will help us to mirror this side on the others on this other side so select line and we'll make these three lines Select this point, this circle, and select here, um, make coincident. And now we'll select these three lines with this center line. If you want to select uh, multiple lines in uh, SolidWorks, you'll have to keep control pressed from the keyboard and then click on each of the lines or what you want to select. And now select from here mirror entities and we'll have the other part. Now we have to define this, so select Smart Dimension. First, between these two lines, here will be 6 millimeters. And then from this line to this one, here will be 50. And now from this line to this center point, here will be 75. And now as we can see this is black which means that all the lines are fully defined 
Now we have to use Trementis command to cut these extra parts of the circles to make this sketch one open contour. And to do this, let's select Trim Entities command and we'll start with this one, this one, and if you want to cut like this, we must keep here power trim, and this one, this one also, this one, and then this two. And now this is perfect. Now go to Features, use Extruded Boss Base command and here we'll select instead of Blind Mid Plane and the thickness will be 40 mm. And now press OK. And now we'll have to make the rib which is 10 mm on this upper side. 10 mm the thickness. To do this we'll have to open a sketch in the front plane which is in the middle. So select front plane, open a sketch. And here we'll make a line, select line, start from this edge to this one. Okay, not like this. So from this edge to this edge. Okay, we'll start from this other side then. And then select this line with this edge and select here make tangent and do the same with this one tangent. Now go to features and select rib command and as you can see the arrow is going up we need the arrow to go down and we'll just have to reverse here. Now we'll have to select here, here flip material side to go down and the thickness it's 10 millimeters we'll keep this one in the middle the thickness on both sides and press ok. And this is the rib. Now we'll have to open a sketch on this face to make the hole. Or we can use um, a hole wizard. Let's use hole wizard. So select hole wizard. And here we'll select this one. Hole. Here we'll keep ISO. Here we'll select drill size. And the size. Let's see if we have... Um, the size 13.5 the diameter if we don't have we're gonna use what we have so select the, the size 13.5 the end condition will be true all and now go to positions select 3d sketch and we'll have to place the hole place it and then with smart dimension we'll have to define it from this point to this edge here will be 20 millimeters and from this edge to this point, here will be 15.85. And now the points should be black, which means it's fully defined. And press here OK. Now we have the hole, we have the part. If you want to change the appearance for this part, you'll just go up here, edit appearance, and from here select what color you want for this part and then press here OK. If you want to change the material, we can we have here on the left side material not specified, right click on it, select here edit material and from here select what material you want this part to be. Then click apply and close. And this was for this video, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next tutorial and if you like it you can leave a like, you can subscribe if you want to see more tutorials like this and see you next time. Yeah, yeah.